So it is 9.22 on December 10th and it is baby day. Joe and I are on our way to our induction. So I finally did decide to get induced and this morning I was expecting a call. They told me that I could get a call anytime between 6.30 a.m. and noon and at like 8.50 they called from the hospital saying to get there. So we're on our way now. We're gonna stop by McDonald's really quick to get some breakfast because once I get there they won't let me eat anything. So yeah, we're gonna go and get our baby. Joseph, are you excited? Do you think it's gonna take a long time? I don't know. So I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. They told me that I'm almost four centimeters dilated and I'm 80% effaced and that the baby's head was like really, really low into my pelvis. So the doctor was telling me that she thinks that once they get me hooked up to Pitocin and once they break my water that it should be a pretty quick labor. So we'll kind of see what happens. I could barely sleep last night. I kept waking up. I kept checking my phone, making sure that I hadn't missed a call, making sure that it wasn't 6.30 yet. All right, we just got our McDonald's. Joe's got his coffee. We're on our way to go see baby boy. I will tell you guys though, like my eyes are super puffy because last night I was crying. <laughs> like the entire day I was super emotional and I was crying a ton. I've just been like scared about so many things, just like making sure that he's okay, making sure that Riley's okay, and I've just been a hot mess. So that's kind of why I look a little bit puffy today. <laughs> So we made it, we are here. I've got to change into the gown. This is where all the baby stuff is gonna happen. Look at that little hat, how cute. <laughs> little diaper. All right, I'm gonna go change into my gown, but like this was so weird. Like we walked in and they're like, okay, well, you're gonna be in room one and this is your room and just get comfortable. We'll get started soon. <laughs> so it's just so weird that like, I don't know, it's just a lot more scheduled and planned it's gonna be one of the last bump shots right, so i changed into my gown my beautiful hospital gown i told you guys this time around i was just gonna use the hospital gown from the hospital here i didn't buy my own fancy gown now what i'm doing is i'm just trying to like set up the stuff that i know that i'm gonna want out like during the laboring process just so that i don't have poor joe like scrambling through my bags trying to find stuff so over here i put like my makeup bag that has like this is like for my lips so that my lips don't get chapped and i have my headphones and i did bring a little portable fan because i just wanted to have it in case my contractions are really bad it helps me like breathe through the contractions I have another camera and then i have a brush here just so that my hair doesn't get all tangled my phone my glasses but this is our setup and we haven't started yet and i'm already so nervous and then this is the bathroom over here are you ready to have this baby yeah. it just feels so weird this time around i don't know why can't wait for baby jackson to get here i'm all comfy here waiting in bed it is 10 38 in the morning and I'm waiting for the nurse to come in so she can tell me what we're gonna be doing But it's weird because I'm like so calm being here like knowing that it's gonna be Okay, like knowing that we weren't rushing or like that my water had broken and we were like Rushing to get to the hospital like I feel so calm about this at the same time I'm like obviously nervous about what's to come because nothing has really started yet but I know that I was kind of going back and forth about whether or not to get induced. But I think that this was definitely the right choice for us. It just made everything a lot smoother. And I feel like I was less stressed about everything the day of. So here I am with baby boy. Just waiting to meet him. Alright, so it's 11.25. I officially have my IV in. This nurse did such a better job with my IV this time around than when I was here a month ago. The IV did not hurt, thank God, because last time the IV was like in my wrist and it hurt so much. So they have me hooked up to the monitors. They have the monitor that's watching the baby and then another one that's watching my contractions. 
The nurse did say that I'm having contractions every once in a while. But she did just finish examining me and I'm still at a three, kind of four. So in between a three and a four. So I haven't really dilated anymore since my visit yesterday to the doctor. Again, I will warn you that these cervical checks are not fun at all. It really, really hurt when the nurse checked me to see how dilated I was. I had to like breathe in deeply. That was definitely the most painful thing. I'm sure it won't be the most painful thing of the day, but it was definitely definitely not a fun feeling so we did that and now she's gonna go talk to the OB to see you know when she wants to start me on the Pitocin or see what she wants to do with me but yeah things are getting started over here so I'm sitting here and I feel like just a lot of like wetness <laughs> like I feel like just a bunch of water come out and I'm pretty sure that the nurse broke my water when she checked me. Alright, so it's 12.15. My nurse came in. She doesn't think that my water broke, but we're going to keep an eye on it. But they did just hook me up to Pitocin. So my Pitocin is one of those things. The one on the left? Okay. It's one of those over there. So they're starting me off at a two, I guess, whatever dosage. I don't know how you measure the dosage. But they're starting me at a two of Pitocin. And then they said that they would bump it up every like half an hour to 45 minutes. Depending on how I'm doing, if I'm making progress, and how the baby's doing and all that. So... Right now, at least we're starting and things are happening. By the way, my mom is at home with Riley. That's the only reason why she's not here because I needed someone to watch Riley. Joe is still over there, hanging out. So this is my little stash here of all my drinks. I have OJ, apple juice, some cranberry juice, and then I think one of these is just like water with ice and one is just ice cubes. So at the very least, I can have some liquids. I'm excited about that. And then I just posted on Instagram letting you guys know that I'm in labor and I'm just blown away by like all of you guys just messaging me and it just means so so much. The Pitocin is still very new like they just kind of hooked me up to it but I'm already starting to feel some contractions and they're just uncomfortable like they're not super painful but I have to kind of like stop and breathe whenever I get a contraction like right now. Kind of like takes the wind out of you. So you can't really like talk too much because like your stomach is tightening so that's where we're at right now okay this one actually hurts a little bit more than the last one so i just have to breathe um anesthesia did come and talk to me though and they talked to me about my epidural yes a thousand percent i'm having my epidural hopefully fingers crossed like i don't want to miss the window or jinx myself or anything like that last time with riley i had the epidural and god knows i needed it so i want to make sure that we get it on time and now it's just kind of figuring out like when the best time is going to be to get it she just said that i need to get it before i can't sit still for the epidural because like when you're getting the epidural you have to sit like really still so that they can put the needle in your back without you moving so if your contractions are already at a point where you can't even sit still from all the pain then you've kind of missed your window so hopefully that doesn't happen but other than that we are good we're just chilling here i'm probably gonna watch some youtube videos to just relax and keep my mind off of things but so far so good so it's 105 and i just asked the nurse if like i was able to like get up to pee and apparently now that i'm hooked up to pitocin i'm not allowed to get up and pee because the baby has to stay on the monitor so i basically have to use a bedpan from now on so that's just a fun fact as soon as you get um pitocin you'll have to pee in a bedpan if you're being induced or if you have pitocin so joe is like watching the monitor that's over there and watching my contractions what are you saying about my contractions no they seem regular like i remembered them last on friday before he says that they're getting a little bit more consistent so he's just watching the monitor over there i am starting to feel them more i'm starting to feel them a little bit more painful but it's only like one it's 126 so i know that we probably still have a ways to go but i'm trying to figure out like when i'm supposed to ask the nurse like to start getting the anesthesiologist and stuff for my epidural like i don't want to get it too early 
but at the same time i don't want to wait until i'm in miserable pain like i was last time with riley like the contraction pain got really bad with with riley and now i'm having another one you can see it on the monitor that it's big Yeah, they're starting to get a little bit bigger. So that's, that's fun. Look at Joe just eating a freaking coffee cake in my face <laughs> because I can't eat anything. You will leave? No. <laughs> it's so rude. That coffee cake is so good. We had it last time. All right, it is 1.51 in the afternoon and the nurse just came in. She told me that my contractions are about three minutes like every three minutes i'm having some contractions and they are definitely getting stronger she did up my pitocin i'm at a six now she did say that like the most that you can get is 20 but that usually she delivers patients between like six and eight so we're kind of waiting to see like how bad these contractions get um i'm gonna kind of give it like another half hour and then if like in half an hour they're getting really painful with the six of Pitocin, then I'm gonna have her call the anesthesiologist so I can get my epidural. She said I'm looking a little bit too comfortable that I'm not like in too much pain yet. So she's gonna hold off for now and then just check on me in like half an hour to an hour. But things are progressing. This, ooh, they brought me like an icy. I'm excited about an icy. Brought me jello, jello strawberry jello. Cup. I didn't think I was gonna get to eat jello, so that's exciting. And like I said, an icy, that'll definitely do better than nothing starting to get Oof. smaller than your very previous one. Oh, but it hurts maybe it's like this position maybe it's, position. Maybe it's like sitting up yeah. maybe i need to lay back down because that contraction was hurting a lot i'm gonna see if i recline myself a little bit and eat my icy before they come and tell me that I can't eat it. When you're in the hospital, by the way, like the food is not good, but when you're at this point, like anything is better than nothing. So as terrible as some of this food is, like you'll take what you can get. You get really hungry and then you get excited about stuff like this. Hi, Goody. How do you say hi, mama? Are you watching Peter Pan? <laughs> She's watching Peter Pan with Mimi. How do you say Captain Hook? I love you, how do you give mama a kiss? I see you later. All right, so it's 3.06 and the nurse came in. She upped the Pitocin to an eight and my contractions still seem to be pretty consistent. They're happening every once in a while. I'm getting a pretty painful one, but I'm still not like in terrible amounts of pain or anything like that. But I do want to make sure that I get the epidural before I start getting a ton of pain. So I told the nurse to just kind of start the process because I think she said that I have to get like some more IV fluids um, before they can do the epidural so we're gonna like start the process so that it's not forever and a day before I'm able to get that I love though that the nurses are like constantly watching the baby like they're monitoring the baby and me but like more importantly that they're monitoring the baby outside in their nurses station so like she came in and she's like oh the baby's kind of off the monitor because I guess I had shifted position so she came back in hooked him back up and now they're monitoring him but it's just like such a nice peace of mind to know that they're constantly watching the baby that he's doing good but i'm like starting to get like you know just uncomfortable sitting here in the bed so i'm hoping that we speed things along all right so it is 405 and we had a lot of things happen just now so i got my epidural were you freaking out joseph watching me get the epidural no you weren't i was freaking out because i thought that i wasn't going to be able to get the epidural they were having like a really hard time getting getting it in my back yeah right? she was new yeah i the, feel like i got a newbie because with riley i didn't feel my epidural not like, that she's new all. she just probably doesn't have as much she, she wasn't super experienced like super nice one. and that was that's fine but they had to like give me a ton of numbing cream like they kept poking me like with the the numbing and then they kept hitting bone and then i would hear them behind me like chattering and saying like oh you hit bone and i was freaking out so eventually they got it in so i have my epidural in now and thank god because my contractions were starting to get really really bad so i feel like we caught it like just in time you were totally freaking out no i wasn't freaking you out. thought i was gonna freak out that's what i was concerned with the longer this goes on the more you're gonna get uncomfortable. yeah 
like right before they came in for the epidural is when I started to get those contractions that I was feeling like all down like my lower stomach but I was also feeling them like in my lower back and those were really starting to hurt and then while I was getting the epidural done um, I was having to like fight through some contractions so I was like hunched over curled up and experiencing some of those contractions so that was not too fun but at least thank god they got it in because I swear I was panicking and then they gave me a catheter so I have a catheter now I don't have to get up to pee and I'm starting to feel like the effects of the epidural now because I have tingling in my legs I have a lot more numbness and I haven't really felt too many contractions since they gave me the epidural they did tell me though that like i wasn't going to be completely numb which could i guess be good and bad because like if you're super numb then you can't feel anything when it's time to push which i think is what happened to me last time with riley i did not feel a thing and like they would be like push push and i couldn't feel anything so they told me that they wanted me to be an active participant of this labor so that is hopefully a good thing that will hopefully help him get out of there faster she checked me to see if i had made any progress and she said i'm a good four now which means that I am progressing and making some progress and that his head is a little bit lower so she seems to be very happy with the progress that I'm making and she said that she's just gonna check me in two hours they're gonna keep me at an eight in Pitocin just because she said that I have like a good pattern right now with contractions so she said if they slow down then they'll up it but right now I guess I have a good pattern so that's where we're at Joe's over there he got himself some food eating a pizza I'm so jealous. All right, so it's 5.42. My doctor just came to see me. She broke my water. There was like a giant stick that they stick up there and I don't know, stuff happens, but I didn't feel a thing because my epidural thankfully is working. Knock on wood, I don't wanna jinx it. But yeah, I was like about to dig into the food that they brought me for dinner, which is like bone broth and some more of like those ices. I was really excited. And then she walked in. So she broke my water and she says that that should help to expedite things now. And then she did check me to see how dilated I was and I I was at a five so i'm five centimeters hopefully now that my water is broken it'll go even quicker and who knows we could have a baby here very very soon you texting my mom <laughs> what does she want to know i guess there's a time frame oh yes we don't really know what the time frame is going to be it's hard to know because like here i've been like between a three and a five all this time but they really didn't give me Pitocin until like 12 something so I haven't really had a ton of time with Pitocin I will say I feel the contractions like I feel my stomach tightening but as of right now I don't feel pain so I am so so happy right now I'm in a very good place yes I'm eating my bone broth are you jealous Joseph no <laughs> you wouldn't eat them I would I'm trying not to make a mess so <laughs> not spill everything on top of me So it is 6.55, they moved me onto my side since I had been in like the same position ever since I got my epidural. They said that they'll move me to my other side um, probably in a little bit just so that things don't get like lopsided because like sometimes if you're just on one side for a really long time, all of the anesthesia can go to one side and then you feel stuff more like on the other side. Good news is that my doctor isn't going anywhere. So she's like out there somewhere doing some paperwork. So she's here in the hospital. I don't have to worry about like, you know, when it's time to push, like her not being here or anything. So I'm very happy about that. I am though like starting to feel some contractions, like I'm starting to feel something. So I don't know if it's like just pressure or whatnot, but like even with the anesthesia and the epidural, like I'm starting to feel something where like maybe like half an hour, an hour ago, I wasn't feeling anything. We are waiting for my mom to come and meet us here. So she's putting Riley down for bed. So if all goes well, as of right now, that's a plan. She's gonna put Riley down for bed and then my dad and my brother will be home and they can watch her in the monitor while she's sleeping. But my mom will be able to be here in the hospital 
at some point so either right before delivery so maybe she'll get to watch the birth or if not then like immediately after depending on how quickly this happens but i'm gonna feel a lot better knowing that my mom is here even though joe has done a good job joe has been a great support system so he's been here keeping me calm and all of that all right so i don't know if it's because of like the change in position or what but i'm starting to feel a lot more pressure in my back starting to get a lot more painful and obviously I'm not too happy about that because I was doing really really great and now I'm starting to feel my back is really really hurting so I still can't feel my legs much but my my back is starting to feel pressure and it's 705 so I think the nurse said that she was going to give her orders to the next nurse and then um, the doctor was maybe going to come check me. I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. Alright, it is 7.31 and my nurse checked me and she said that I am good to go, that my baby is like right there so she told me to close my legs because she doesn't want me to have the baby without the doctor in the room but it's looking like it's gonna happen here any minute i'm feeling okay i had no idea that i was like ready Cry, cry. Uh, 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 
There you go. Close your eyes. Get some rest. By your side. Lay your head on my chest. I know you've had a really bad day. He's so cute. But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay. Alright, so baby boy is here. He is here and they've been doing like some of his vitals and stuff and now they're gonna give him back to me. We're gonna try to breastfeed. I'm so happy that he's doing good. I'm just, I never even got to spend this much time with Bean before they took her to the NICU. So it's just nice that I've been able to, to see him and have him here. And he was on my chest for a long time. So now they're going to give him back to me. We're gonna try to nurse. He's just gonna get to hang out with me for a little while. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. 